dating among teenagers. Sounds exciting or dangerous? I'm Simone Crutchley. Thank you for joining us. Mrs. Smith, the cook, has been with the school since it started in 1970. Hello, Mrs. Smith. Welcome to Rapin. Why have you stayed so long at Black River High School? When I started in 1970, there were not much um, jobs around at the time, and I had a family to, to look about. So I stayed on, and during 22 years this year, I, I thought much that I would rather stay until I retire here. How has the school changed since 1970? The school had changed a lot. The students, some of them are more intelligent. They are more, um, as you would say, it, more polite and so forth. And they have achieved much more than in 1970. The school it had um, grown a far way um, since 1970. We had a lot more students than before. And um, the students, they are progressing in sports and ac academically and so forth. Mr. Ricardo Gale is the principal of Black River High School. Welcome to Rapin. Thank you very much. How long have you been a part of this school? Well, I have I've actually been here since 1975. Um, I started as a junior teacher through to the vice principal and then to the spread and position. Actually, I've been principal now for two years. What is your view on dating among teenagers in <laughs> schools? Dating, rapping with them. Mm -hmm. You know, the parents should be able to see what kind of young man this is and what kind of young lady this is. And then from there, if they should go out, the parents should be able to say, well, you come, in at such, you come back at such time and you should not do other than this or, you know what I mean? So it has its advantages and disadvantages. Mm -hmm. sure. okay, so if you don't get more leaf and I've got we run for you know should I turn up this model dance I get ready to stab you up we run for you know should I turn up I did my dance you want to come my shop all right you know me turn up over this one side I'm seeing my pass me with a free tobacco yes I should do back with me you know what I want to do it's a yes Mr. all right let me do it with you I want to them run past me like freeze. Me give a jam stop, show to a lot of teeth. So me know she had a push in me. We run for, you know, should I turn up? Say, if you don't get bold, if I go on, but we run for, you know, should I turn up? Say, if the girl didn't beat you up, we run for, you know, should I turn up? Look where the girl has come and you run. You don't get a hug up. We run for, you know, should I turn up? Say, your friend can't even run, go. All right. You give me a shot, but I've been got the bar. I didn't think I would sit that time, but uh, you give me a shot, most of you got the bar. I think I see what he does, guys. We run for you, know, should I turn up?
with me are head girl and head boy of Black River High School, Michael Palmer and Patricia Samuels. What are your views on dating among teenagers? Well, my views on dating among teenagers is that dating can be encouraged. One, because dating helps a teenager to be more mature. And a teenager wouldn't want to act childish for her date or his date to see. So this forces a teenager to become more mature and also to become acquainted with members of the opposite sex. What are your views, Patricia? Well, dating has its advantages and disadvantages in that many of the teenage pregnancies that are around are caused by dating, which started at an early age when girls just entering their teens are naive, as they will put it, and not ready for those things. The advantage is that it, be it makes you more aware socially. Do you date? No, I don't. Do you date? Certainly I do. That's a vital part of my life to, be, to show some form of maturity. It helped me to show maturity and responsibility, so I do date. should date but their aim should be to go out and enjoy each other's company on a social basis rather than emotionally yes I think teenagers should go and date in order to understand more about life teenagers should date but they must be closely monitored they must be popular attired before they left the house and have a specific time at which to return they must keep the relationship on a strictly platonic level Yes, I think teenagers should date to an extent where it teaches them how to control a relationship in the later years. today on wrapping is should teenagers date and if so to what extent to help us in our discussion are mrs eugenie baker a social worker mrs murdell grant a guidance counselor father vicar swint rector st john's parish church here in black river welcome to wrapping how would you define dating dating is a social agreement or arrangement between two people of the opposite sex. Dating can take many forms. You can have couple dating or group dating. Dating can be quite casual or at a later stage it can be a steady relationship. I would like to advise that as much parental guidance as possible should be sought as youngsters go out for dating. And I would love to recommend too that group dating be put in place wherever possible. And sure enough, when they are young, that sort of a curfew on our should be maintained. Dating is when a boy meets a girl or a girl meets a boy and they like each other and they go out. We um, don't understand that dating can be a social thing and it can, be, it can also be an emotional thing. Father Winter, why do you suggest that we teenagers should go out and group dating? When people are not too sure about what other people will do, like your first dating per se, it, could, it, it has a little amount of safety when three of you travel together. 
or four rather than just two. And if it must be two, imagine you have a third person with you. Feel that you have Jesus with you as the third person. What about chaperones? How do you feel about being chaperoned to a date? I don't agree to have a, ch a chaperone because you won't get to know, to, to know that um, person the real, the real way because he would put on this type of image, a, di a different image um, to impress your mother, anybody who is uh, sh chaperoning you. When you date, you want to know the person better, you want to express yourself in the most way. But when somebody is there, you know, keep down your feelings. Or maybe the person may see a different side of you from what you really are. Do you think that dating affects the individual's schoolwork? Yes and no. It's dependent on what they have in mind when they go dating. I think dating in the first instance is supposed to be that occasion that you use to just know each other. Um, like Father Wynne said, to fill that gap and so on. So if it is along this line, I don't think it's, it should affect um, your, your studies that much. But there are others who go on dating for other reasons because I am sort of getting the feeling that once you say dating, it has a sexual thing to it. And if at all we have that sexual thing to it, I'm almost certain if we're not matured, if we, if we don't have a serious sense of direction, we can get into serious trouble and it's going to certainly, most certainly, affect our studies at school. Any comments on that? Why is it that most parents um, would not allow her daughter to go on the date where he would give the guy a chance? Is it that they're being a bit overprotected of their daughter or they cannot be trusted? I think in, in most cases, it's, it's that mothers on a whole, parents in general, tend to shelter their daughters, overprotect them, but they allow their sons to go anywhere. I don't think it is fair to, um, to the, 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 the other people's girls because um, we should think of our own girls who we want to protect. In some cases, it is because our daughters don't allow themselves to be trusted. So my advice to our teenagers is to make sure that your parents can trust you. And in that case, they, they won't hesitate to send you on a date with someone who you think or who they think is worthwhile. I think that parents on a whole need to be educated about what this our dating system is because most parents when you talk about dating they are looking at um, something emotional and um, I want to direct this question to Miss Grant what do you think um, we need for the parents to be educated about dating or for that that trust to be there between parents and children I think it's it's more difficult to get to the parents. But like in our school situation or in our church groups where we have young people, then we can work through the young people by educating them so that they can realize that dating doesn't have to be a serious type of relationship where one is going steady and thinking of choosing a life partner. It can be very casual, as I said before. And in any case, both parties need to be able to react to the opposite sex because if it eventually leads to marriage, then they need that prelude, that period where they need to, to um, be accustomed to each other, to members of the opposite sex that they can relate to them. Dating is an educational process. It helps you to develop certain interests in something you haven't known before. What are some of the conditions that one should bear in mind when going out on a date? You have to be prepared um, to face a question the guy might ask, like, you know, can I kiss you? Can I, you know, be alone all the time with you or something like that? You have to be prepared for that. I think a very serious condition for dating 
is that the boys have got, or the boy, boys or boy in question, has got to realize or have to realize that they are responsible both to the girl and to the parents of the girl that he or they are taking out on their date. Group dating is important because, um, for instance, um, two person goes out and, you know, they are emotion, they become emotional and they want to do something. If they are along with the, a group of persons, they won't, it won't happen or anything wrong won't go on. I disagree totally because group as well can influence good and can influence bad. One good advantage in dating that no one has mentioned here today is that if most couples had considered dating before marriage, mm -hmm. there may be, there will be a less rate of divorces in the country. I think teenagers should get a chance to go on dating because when they date from now as teenagers, when they get older, they'll know how to control a relationship. Where is the best place to go when going out on a date? The best place would be wherever it's considered safe and like where, where you eat your ice cream, the ice cream shop could be a good place or like I say where you have your food, the restaurant could be a good place. Um, if you're going on group though, I would say you could go to the beach and the cinema is, not, is quite, quite alright as well. And, and I also want to think that it's dependent on what you want to get out of the date. Um, might be could be a football match because yes. you want to see as very as many people as possible because yes. you want to laugh really laugh yes you know so it's yes. dependent on what you want what, to get what? out of it um, do you think that dating should be a topic that guidance counselors discuss in school and if so why yes not only guidance counselors I think it is such a crucial matter because any teacher who has to deal with teenagers, have to do a certain amount of counseling all the time. And because in school we are training our students to fit themselves into life, then we, we need to guide them because eventually we expect them to become husbands and wives. So we have to encourage them to, to date and date in the proper way because I think most of us have a misconception of dating. I think the general thing is that we are thinking of a steady relationship where a boy goes out with a girl and goes to some secluded area where they can mm. do whatever they want to do but unmolested. And I think they need proper guidance from the very beginning so that um, when it reaches that serious stage they'll know how to control themselves and I think guidance counselors, teachers, parents, pastors, whoever need to counsel our teenagers when it comes to a topic like that. So to wrap up, we can conclude that dating does have its advantages and disadvantages. We'd like to thank our guests and we'd like to thank the students of Black River High School. And thank you for watching Wrapping.